a conversation about Linux and NIC systems. We discuss the key differences between major Linux and NIC systems over coffee. So, I've been trying to understand the different init systems in Linux. I keep hearing about System B, OpenRC, and Sysvanit. Could you break it down for me? Let's start with the basics. An init system is the first process that starts when Linux boots up. It's literally PID1. It manages all other system processes and services. Interesting. So which one came first? Sysvanit is the traditional one. It's been around since the early days of Unix. It uses a simple sequential boot process with numbered run levels from 0 to 6. Each run level represents a different system state, like single user mode, multi-user mode, or shutdown. Sequential? Does that mean it's slower than the others? Yes, that's one of its main drawbacks. Sysmini starts services one at a time in order. While it's simple and easy to understand, it doesn't take advantage of modern hardware with multiple cores. Think of it like a line of dominoes. Each service has to wait for the previous one to finish starting. I see. And what about Systemd? It seems like everyone's talking about that one. Systemd is the modern heavyweight champion. It was developed by Red Hat, and it's now the default in most major distributions. Instead of run levels, it uses targets. Its main advantage is parallel processing. It can start multiple services simultaneously, making boot times much faster. But I've heard some people really don't like SystemD. Why is that? That's quite the controversial topic in the Linux community. The main criticism is that Systemd breaks the Unix philosophy of do one thing and do it well. It's not just an init system. It handles logging, network management, login sessions, and much more. Some consider it too complex and monolithic. And where does OpenRC fit into all this? OpenRC is like the middle ground. It's used by distributions like Gen2 and Alpine Linux. It's more modern than Sysmini, but simpler than Systemd. It supports parallel service startup like Systemd, but stays focused on just being an init system. That sounds pretty good. Does it have any disadvantages? The main one is that it has fewer features than Systemd. While some see this as a positive, it means you might need additional tools for things that Systemd handles out of the box. Also, fewer distributions use it, so you might find less community support. How do you manage services with each of these? Great question. Here's how you'd start a service in each. Systemd. System to start service name. Open RC. RC service, service name start. Sysmini. Slash etc. Slash init deck d slash service name start. Is it difficult to switch between them? It can be challenging because they handle service configuration differently. System B uses that service files. OpenRC uses init scripts with additional metadata, and Sysmini uses shell scripts in slash etc. Slash init deck d slash. Plus, many modern applications are designed with Systemd in mind, so you might need to do extra work to make them play nice with other init systems. This has been really helpful. 
Any final thoughts on choosing between them? If you're new to Linux or using a mainstream distribution, stick with Systemd. It's well-supported and feature-rich. If you value simplicity and Unix philosophy, OpenRC is a great choice. Sysvenit is mostly of historical interest now, though you might encounter it in older systems or embedded devices. 